Okay, here is my challenge floor 18 clear. In order to get three stars on this floor, you need to bring three or more three star characters. On top of that, you cannot allow Wanderer or Silk to use two or more dual attacks in a fight, and we'll talk more about that in a second. You'll notice at the start of the fight, she will use her S3, which pushes back one ally to 0% combat readiness and inflicts paralysis status on them. Paralysis characters cannot gain combat readiness under their own power, so you will have to use some form of combat readiness pushing from the rest of your teammates to actually snap them out of it. It's very similar to Fatigue from Hopeless Samaquis Expedition, if you are familiar with that. To kind of counteract this, any combat readiness pushes on the character that is paralyzed are doubled. So therefore, at least in my opinion, Doris ends up becoming the best option for this floor. She is a 3-star. She has a 50% combat readiness push on her S3, basically doubling to 100% and thus negating the entire mechanic. And then she provides sustain as well as some level of cleansing, which is nice because Wanderer Silk actually reflects debuffs that you throw at her. Now, Wanderer Silk will be gaining barriers and stealth throughout this entire fight. Every other non-attack skill that you use, so every second one, she will cleanse one debuff from the people on her team. And then she will gain a stealth status and I believe a barrier as well. So that makes the Falcon or Clurry in my team composition not exactly the best one uh, that you could play for this. I chose Falcon or Clurry because she gives combat readiness to the team in case for some reason Doris didn't have S3 available. Uh, she provides some level of healing. And then her S3 on paper seems really good. It's a defense break. And then it also it gets rid of all of the buffs on Wanderer Silk, which is super, super important. If I believe, because the tooltip's not super clear, on her third turn, she has one or more buffs, she will trigger a guaranteed dual attack. Obviously, if she triggers that twice, she will go into outrage. Falcon or Clary's S3 is a full strip. Therefore, you can see where I'm coming from. If it is the odd skill, not the even skill, then we can use the Falcon or Clary S3 as a full strip and a defense break. And that's super good because it keeps Wanderer Silk off of the actual mechanic. Not exactly the greatest in practice. I think if I were to do this again, I probably would have put Doris in the front line in order to proc Prophetic Candlestick more often, and I probably would have brought Mercenary Helga as my defense breaker because I don't really ever need her S3. I could have just kept using S1 and S2 for essentially defense breaking and more value. The actual core of the team, though, is actually here, Landy as well as Commander Lorena. I think this is a really strong two-man DPS solve for this actual floor. So... Landy has a very powerful AoE attack, which is great for knocking people out of stealth, obviously, and breaking barriers. She also holds Bloodstone, which means that she is great at helping us sustain throughout the fight. The problem comes in the fact that if Landy is your only damage dealer, she'll be spending most of her time under the paralysis mechanic. And even if she's not the only DPS on your team, her S2, the chief, is on the scene, makes her attack go higher and higher throughout the fight as it stacks up which means eventually she will probably end up being the highest attack character on your team and thus will be spending most of her time paralyzed. There's not too many great three-star AoE characters, so you could try to use one of those if you so choose, but I decided to go with Commander Lorena as my fourth character because Commander Lorena also has a uh, scaling attack passive here, so she will also stack up her attack alongside of Landy and as long as she has the higher starting attack, Commander Lorena should, in theory, outscale Landy's attack scaling. And therefore be the one that spends most of the time under the paralysis mechanic. Which means that your Landy can spend more time out of stun and therefore using her S3. And therefore breaking barriers, keeping Silk out of stealth. And making sure that you're not actually triggering that outrage mechanic as a result. So that's why I decided to go with those two characters. There are definitely going to be other DPS compositions I think that will work just as well. You could absolutely play somebody different than Landy or Commander Lorena here. I just think that these two work super, super well together. They are incredibly synergistic. Again, if I had to point out a flaw in my team composition, it's definitely the Falcon or Clory. You could play somebody different than her for sure. Uh, again, I think Mercenary Helga is a really good three-star defense breaking option. You'll just have to be a bit more mindful of the barriers and the stealth on the actual silk. You won't actually uh, have the emergency like oh crap button that can remove all of the debuffs on them like you do 
with Falcon or Clurry. Another strategy that possibly could work for this floor that I did not employ, but I realized it after I finished this floor, is that these golems were taking a ton of punishment from Commander Lorena as well as the AoEs from Landy, and I wasn't even focusing them. So there may be a world where it is possible to actually just focus down the golems and kill them so that, that way the Wanderer Silk stealth doesn't actually even matter. I leave that to you if you want to try that strategy. That is not the strategy that I employed here. It might actually work though. Let me know down in the comments below if someone actually has tried that route and it ended up working for you. So as you can see, the S3 from Commander Lorena here ends up finishing off the Wanderer Silk. Not the best clear, but it does work. So you can see three star clear here. And now let me show you my stats before we wrap up the video. Here is my slightly scuffed Landy because I had to take her necklace to give it to Aiden. My Commander Lorena is the same from the previous videos. It is my Katie's Commander Lorena. You can, I promise you, you can build a better one with higher speed and you know actually 100% critical hit chance. Here is my scuffed Falconer Clurry with just over 60% effectiveness. And then finally, here is my Doris.